Okay, so we have the, uh, we actually got the um, SkyZone 700D fired up, as you can see. Oh, by the way, welcome to Video Drum by DIY 3D Tech. I almost forgot. So we got the uh, SkyZone uh, 700D set up recording. We've got the uh, up air set up. We got the up air over there. Um, we're at 15 satellites. So what we can do is uh, begin the arming sequence. Everything set correctly. Okay, so we got it armed. Set in altitude mo hold mode, and let's take it out a little bit. So we're taking it out. We're over here on the Black River today, near the Black River by the uh, access point. So we're going to take it up, and we're also going to launch the video. And I think I got video. I'm going to yaw it around here, so you can kind of see see where we're at. There I am down here. So. Uh, pretty empty out here. It's actually a fairly good place to fly this time of year. Uh, sorry, I have to adjust the hat cam a little bit so you can kind of see things. Uh, so let's uh, take a little bit more altitude on it. And I wanted to come out here today and fly because I wanted to experiment a little bit uh, with getting some altitude. Uh, really no wind today. Uh, it's about 32 degrees. It's, it's above freezing. So uh, Great day to be out flying actually for this time of year and get access to some places where you probably normally couldn't get access to. And again, oh, I forgot to press the record button on the... Uh... Now, now actually I'm getting, I can see this uh, FPV screen here far better than I can the one I actually on the... Uh... Now I know there's glare. But the uh, quality of the screen is actually a lot better on the... Uh... So I'm just panning it around. So there's the Ford dealership in Fort Gratiot across M25. So uh, you're looking at somewhere over here, yeah. So it's about a half mile away from where the copter is hovering up over, up over there. So... Uh, it says we're at about 39 uh, meters high, about uh, 106 meters out. So uh, we're pretty good. We, we're getting a little flickering on the uh, FPV. I want to rotate it around and see if maybe I can get a little bit better. Actually, I was getting better signal the other way. Um, so I'm about 108 meters out, 39 meters high. Let's, uh, let's take it up a little bit more. So I'm at about 49 meters. Let's pan this around. One of the things I'm actually trying to do is practice my panning a little bit in, in controlling the yaw. Actually, it's got it's got a pretty pretty good yaw control on it. Uh, versus some of the ch cheaper toy copters, if you will. See, I'm getting a, a fairly nice pan on it right now. And you can really see out to the horizon uh, with this guy. And she's out there a ways. Again, I'm up about 52 meters, so it's about 150 feet, about 122 meters out away from me. The wind's blowing up a little bit and kind of pushing it. It's, again, why I wanted to kind of come out here versus the lake today to kind of uh, get some altitude and also uh, get some um, a little bit of flying experience because I want to, uh, without worrying about dropping it into the lake, because I'm over a big, pretty big open field. You see, I'm pushing it back a little bit. Because I want to do some, some. So actually, I want to see if I can see on the. Uh... 
Yeah, the uh, I'm really impressed with this uh, Sky Zone uh, 700D. Really, really clear picture. Just kind of getting a slow pan around the area. I love the horizon. You know, a bit of it's, uh, I know the lens, but uh, great look out there on the horizon. It's a little after midday here in uh, January. So again, kind of getting to see a bit. So uh, I want to be a little bit careful. Let's see, let's, let's, let's move her back this way. Just trying to keep it still 11.24 volts. So I'm not coming. I'm not coming into the sun. So she's out of the sun, so I'm going to try some yaws there. Again, I'm up about 52 meters. Just uh, doing some uh, yawing around here, trying to get... Uh, a little bit of perspective, some pers perspective pans here. I'm dropping down to about 11.6 volts. Really some nice views from this on high. And again, it's showing me about 326 meters out. So that's probably about as far as I've flown this out is about that. And this is uh, probably pretty close to about the max altitude that I've, I've flown it. Uh, I don't know if you can kind of see it way, 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 way. Sorry, I'm going to adjust the hat cam. Way, way out there. I don't know if you can follow it, but it's just a little dot in the sky, but it's still within my line of sight. So, uh, we're up there a little bit. So, just kind of watching the battery voltage before I issue return to home. So, I am flying it in headless mode. Let's keep walking it back. I am going to bring it though back a little bit towards me because I want to kind of keep walking it. The wind is kicking up a little bit but it's still pretty much holding its own. Uh, I'm now at uh, almost 400 meters out. Sorry the wind's going to be kicking up so it's probably be some noise on the uh, camera. So I'm going to do some yawing right there. So again, you can see M25 here, kind of panning around, the, kind of like the start of the business district here in Port Huron. I'm out in Port Huron Township today, off the Black River. This is this is what you're seeing down here is actually the Black River. This flows into Lake Huron. Uh, actually, I'm going to go around the mouth of it and get some uh, shots uh, eventually, too, one of these mornings. So you can see the river. This is the river flowing down. So you're looking, uh, you know, downriver as it's flowing out. So it's a beautiful view. Um, I forget what, what boating club that is there that we're looking at. So we're down around 9 volts. I'm going to issue a return to home. And I want to see how this handles return to home. Return to home has been sent. I've clicked it. It's now starting to move out this way. Uh, it's where I don't think it's going to be a big problem of clearing anything. 
Uh, and it's basically taking a straight line back, which I guess I would ex expect it to. So I, I guess this is one of the things that I would recommend is, uh, you know, positioning it over a place where, uh, man, I wish I would have started this a little bit further from my car. Yeah, note to self, brand new car, drone, bad idea starting it within about 10 feet. So I'm going to bring it down a little bit closer and attempt then do return to home. But actually, I want to save the video. So video saving. I just kind of want to get yawed around. Maybe get some, maybe get some video of it yawing. I want to bring it down a little bit more. I want to see if I can get some video of it. So there it is. I want to get up close. I want to try to get some usable footage. Usable footage for maybe a new entry uh, video. Okay, I'm getting 10.81. Wow, look how stable that is. Now, I'm not going to be as brave and walk up to it as I did the uh, the hubs in, but you can really hear the uh, the motors whining on that copter. So yeah, I wouldn't want to come in contact with those blades. But it's definitely holding pretty steady, especially at this low altitude. So it's about six seven feet. So I want to definitely get some video of it. You know, kind of up close. I do want to make sure I'm kind of careful with it that I'm not, uh, you know, if it decides to return to home because it's going to go over there. So I issued the return to home so it did its little climb. I'm going to see if I can manually set this down. Beautiful, beautiful, perfect landing, perfect landing. Hey. So, uh, hey, if you found this flight interesting, give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe button's going to be coming up over there in a minute. Uh, so, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd like to hear from you in the comments below. And, hey, we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.